Okay, so in our previous tutorials, we have covered static analysis, API security audit, dynamic testing, conformance scan. Now it's time to talk about protection. So protection is our way to actually protect live API. So you put our API firewall in the line of traffic. Uh, it is an extremely efficient piece of software that we ship as a Docker image. Uh, it's been uh, written in C, it's been highly optimized, uh, it is less than 20 megabytes in size and has a uh, sub-millisecond uh, overhead. And when put in the line of traffic, it takes your security audit, uh, it takes the security uh, the definition of the open API file of the API and it uses it as a whitelisting policy, so it enforces the contract on all the API calls and all the responses. So no call will get to your code if it's outside of the contract and no response will get sent back if, it's expect, uh, if it is not expected. Uh, so to enable that, you just go to the protection piece. Um, so initially it's obviously not configured. Uh, and then uh, what you need to do is that you need uh, to get uh, the Docker image and uh, you will need to uh, generate a token that this Docker, uh, this firewall will use uh, to obtain the configuration of that specific API from the platform from Fortisuk range. So I'll go to the protection tokens, I'll create a token, um, for example, suppose I want uh, to deploy my API in, uh, in, in Azure Kubernetes service or something. I'll generate a token, I'll obviously copy it. Uh, is the, what the tokens look like. I'll close it. Once you've done that, there's no way to, to get the token information for security reasons. And then I'll need to actually configure, uh, configure my network uh, to uh, pass all the API calls and responses through this uh, API micro firewall. And depending on what you're using for your deployment, uh, we have uh, documentation that tells you how to, how to make that deployment uh, for different platforms, whether you're running your system on premises or, or in the cloud. And basically you, you follow that, uh, you follow that documentation uh, to, to, to make the deployment. Uh, and uh, in uh, our next tutorial will show it in action and show how the API firewall can protect um, your APIs or your microservices uh, from malicious calls.